Hey, everybody, listen up, man. We got a new teammate from South Carolina, running back, number eight, Carter. Carter, Carter welcome to the team, man. Welcome to Carter. Last week to the program was fun. <laughs> Not every day you get to do something for someone um, that they always wanted to do and make their dream come true. My name is Carter. And why are you here? Because I'm the make wish people. There you go, Carter. <laughs> Carter Hux, he came from um, the Make a Wish Foundation. Hey, look, it's Ray Lewis. Wish was to uh, spend a week with the team. Ever since my dad was a kid, he liked the Miami Hurricanes, so I just started to like him. Good. Right, sit back. <sighs> this is what we do to Duke and those guys. If you could say these are some of Carter's favorite things, you have like playing outside, playing sports, science, and hurricanes. Because that's always been like one of his favorites. Is that up here to me? It's kind of uncertain whether he'll be able to play football in the future. So it's kind of cool for him to be able to come here and kind of have his dream realized. Oh, am I allowed to tackle people? You, let, you do whatever you want out there today, buddy. <laughs> huh? Have a good time. Meeting Carter Huck is just an inspiration for me and all my teammates. Um, he was just, I mean, he's just, I've never seen a kid with just so much life. Do you think I could beat anybody on this whole team in a race? Yeah, you can be somebody. It's kind of amazing if people ask, like, you know, how is Carter? I'm like, he's fine. Well, I'm the fourth fastest on this team. Oh, yeah. Well, was that the fourth? Pretty sure it's fourth or fifth. You wouldn't think that he has all this stuff wrong with his blood right now. He has had very low blood counts. And it came back in May that he had Franconi anemia. His bone marrow's not working how it's supposed to. It's not producing the cells it's supposed to. But you wouldn't know that looking at him. Ooh, yeah. Just gotta make sure it fits for you. <laughs> when I heard Carter needed a bone marrow transplant, it kind of was weird because that's something that we um, that we get people to come out and sign up for every year. Be the match is our annual bone marrow drive. It's something that started with uh, Andy Talley at Villanova University. Every spring, we get at least 250, 300 people to do a simple swab test, and uh, they go into the registry. From there, you know, the registry could tell whether you could be a match in California, New Jersey, Florida, Texas. I've been tested to be a bone marrow match, and everyone else on the team has. It's something that we do that we can help people. The moment when you're doing it, it's like, okay, we know we're helping someone out there in the world. We know we're helping, helping some people. But it's different when you see them, when they come into your practices and you're realizing that what you did back a couple of months ago is in front of you now. You having fun? You having fun? Are you? I had no doubt that we would be able to fulfill all of Carter and his family's wishes. I had no doubt about that. What I probably underestimated is the impact that Carter and his family had on our team. You wanna do it again, Carter? Carter Hux and his family came to the University of Miami at the right time. Carter and his family definitely came at the right time because um, losing to Georgia Tech and going through all the adversity that we went through, it basically brought our team together with Carter being here. One, two, three. Yes! Let's go, let's go to work. During football season, you sort of wrapped up in football, you kind of lose touch with the outside world. You forget what's important in life and what's more important than winning. Um, and that's just living life and enjoying it. Hopefully Coach Gilder might let you go and run the ball today. Hopefully. Coach said I can tackle Denzel Pierman. You good? Uh. My bad, bro. <laughs> just looking at him, we could all picture ourselves playing at that age. Not going through what he's going through, but just reminiscing and thinking about when we was that young and we used to play football and enjoy it just the way we look at him and see he's enjoying it. Anything we can do to get Carter to smile, we did because, I mean, he has a smile that just lit up the room. When you see a kid like him, you just have a new love for the game. Carter was a reminder. 
just really invoked in all of us what does it mean to be passionate about something and just play for the love of it. Let's go. You could see every time he touched the ball, man, it was just pure joy. The Miami Hurricanes are cool, friendly, nice, and they'll play catch with you. Shoot him! Shoot him! It's Canada, he's a ball! Keep it! Hey, game ball. Practice reverse sides here. Come here, number eight. Number eight is Carter Hux this afternoon. And he's out there shaking hands, looking like a champion. I think having Carter around gave us a different look on life, um, and even the look on the season. Over the ball at the 20-yard line. We came out Cincinnati game with the mindset that we're having fun, we're enjoying it, we're gonna enjoy what we do, and we're gonna love it. Here we go, middle of the field, and nobody's gonna get him. 15, 10, 5, that's a Miami touchdown for New Jersey. Every time I caught a pass, I mean, I just think about it like, I mean, I'm living out my dream. 48 yards right, the Philip Dorsett. Being here at the University of Miami, and, and I know that's Carter's dreams too. I want to be a hurricane one day, and I want to wear either 26 or 8. It feels like I'm just so blessed because I'm living out my dream, and hopefully he can live out his dream one day too. So on behalf of the team, um, the coaching staff, and everybody else, we're going to present you with the game ball for coming out, supporting us, and maybe just spending a week with us. In the game, baby. Whoa! You know, after the game, you know, we gave Carter the game ball. Right, enjoy it, right? Please take care of each other. Okay? Right, Carter, we got media. media. He was just being himself and sitting on the ground, you know, just spinning the ball. You know, just, you know, just being a kid, you know, just enjoying himself, living in the moment. Up, man, it should be fun. Enjoy the night. Enjoy the night. Do not let anybody take your joy. This just remind me of Coach Gordon when he said live in the moment. And that's all Carter was doing, was living in the moment. Wasn't thinking about down the road, wasn't thinking about when he's going home. He's just enjoying himself with us. And it's, it's just great to see him, see him excited and having fun, knowing that he's gonna go back to the real world now. The game ended this week for Carter. Now he's heading home to go and get a bone marrow transplant. In fact, I have all the, the utmost respect for Carter and uh, the situation he's going through, and I know, I know that he'll get through this. To see a little kid with all his heart and all his fight is an inspiration on, to me and all our teammates and even the coaches. I don't think there's any question. Uh, we'll be thinking of Carter and we'll be with him every step of the way. He's a hurricane. He's part of our team now, and we can't wait to see him again. One, two, three. K! Carter, um, he had a huge impact, you know, on us. You know, and, and I think people could, you know, also help him. You could go to BMAX, you know, dot org, you know, and uh, see if you a match, you know, for bone marrow, you know, uh, transplant or treatment. If you go there, you know, you could definitely, you know, be a huge help to, to Carter, you know, and uh, other people, you know, around the world, you know, that need bone marrow. So I feel like people should, you know, uh, look into that, you know, and really, really see if they can help.